Today I'm going to show you how to make full page screen captures of web pages like this and this. Let's go. So first what you want to do is go over to the Chrome Web Store. Launch Google Chrome and go to the Chrome Web Store. So while you're on the Chrome Web Store, you'll search for this extension, Go Full Page. And do a search. And this is the extension that we want to install. So the icon should, of course, look like this. Then you add to Chrome, add extension. And the extension is now added. So what you want to do now is navigate to the page that you want to make a screen capture of. So let's say Stewie's Greetings, which is, of course, yours truly's website. Website. You can check it out, stewiesgreetings.com. So let's say this is the page that you want to make a screen capture of. So traditionally what you would do, you would screen capture this section, then you would scroll down, make another screen capture, scroll, make another screen capture, and then you would use a software like Photoshop um, and any other graphic design software to actually put it together. But with this extension, you won't need to do that. This will do all the hard work for you. you now that we're on the page that you would want to make a screen capture of, you would look up here and you notice that you're not seeing any extension. So to see the extension that we just installed, we click this um, extension icon here and then look for go full page and then pin it. So there we have it right here now, now pinned. So we click go full page. And as you can see, it's actually making a full page screen capture of the page. So it's literally going down, making different shots. And just like that, we have a screen capture of the page. So as you can see, it's giving us two options. We have the option to save it as a P PDF, download it as a PDF, or we can also save it as a PNG. So of course you would know your use case and how you'd want it. So let's save it as a PNG. It's asking us to allow it. And just like that, we're seeing the screen capture of the entire page. So this is it. So this is not the website. This is actually a PNG file with a screen capture of the web page. So of course, there are many use cases for, for this app. For me personally, I use it to save websites that serve as inspiration, especially landing pages. So I would be on Facebook, for example, or even YouTube and see an ad, then click the ad, see the landing page that it takes me to. And if the landing page has some qualities in it that I like and I, I would want to use it as a future reference, I would just use this app to save it. Uh, many web designers use it to save their portfolio you know to create the screenshot their websites and put together their portfolios so if you found value in this video of course drop us a comment drop us a like drop us a subscribe and until next time peace out take care